the minor league variety as the show brings you coverage from the AAA East. Tonight we wrap up this three-game series between the Omaha Storm Chasers and the Iowa Cubs. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Iowa Cubs. Number 26 will do the pitching in game. He's out. He's Next to hit is Eddie James as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. Here's the first pitch to him. Trying to lay one down here, but he misses strike one. Guys, you take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They come in winners of two straight and looking to get things turned around in what hasn't been all that amazing a stretch for them. Hey, not an easy thing to do, d row to get a sweep, a three-game sweep on the road. They've won the first two, looking to put a bow on this one here. Yeah, to win three on the road, Dan. Significantly difficult in today's game. You uh, we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. And ending in the books tonight. Now at the plate, here is Dyron Blanco. The center fielder, Dyron On the ground is short. This could be two. But the feed to the second baseman is a wide one. Eat it, eat it. And they won't get him as he's able to advance from first to third on what would certainly be. So stepping in is Eddie James. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball. One and one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Here comes the one-two. Is swung on and missed. He got him. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next it'll be the fleet-footed first baseman, Nick Prado. Runs up and gets this one down. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Well, you know, he had a good idea right there. The infield was playing back, but it's not going to... And stepping in, Dyron Blanco. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, it kind of shocked. He got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this evening. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. Digging in, no the switch eight. hitter, Eddie Second James, baseman. struck out in his last Eddie. trip to the plate. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. But a foul oh, ball oh. here, 0-1. Oh, you can do it. No one better. Let's go. Pitch on the way. Runs up and gets this one down. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Striding forward now is the D.H. Ollie Booby. The designated hitter. Ollie Booby. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a soft liner. But this is pulled in by the shortstop. And now a throw to first, and they got him. Never really had it. So next to bat will be Anderson Miller. He went down on strikes in his last at-bat. On the ground to the right side. Over to first, and that retires the side. So to go quietly here in this half inning. Part of the order, three, four, and five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. Storm Chasers lead it six to two. Your Person Fulmer please. is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Eddie James. Offense just needs to find a way to get that pass the baton mentality. Starts one at bat at a time. I know they need base runners clearly. Maybe if they could get a few guys on the pillow, someone can bop one and get them back in this. Runs up and gets this one down. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. 
Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. First.